In 2015, the United Nations established 17 Sustainable Development Goals with an eye on 2030 to make them real. The goals target poverty, hunger, health, sustainability and the world's environment. In 2045, the UN will be 100 years old with the hope that by then, these SDGs will be a way of life for the family of nations around the planet. But political ideas are not economic realities and without the global business community and its potential to drive and innovate, progress will be painful. That is the essence of Vision 2045. Peter, thanks very much indeed for joining us. How have you seen so far business and industry change since the creation of the SDGs, going back to 2015? Well, I think the changes have been huge and we've really seen them in the last couple of years, unfortunately, as a result of COVID. If you look at the travel industry, the hospitality industry, how the whole world economy has shut down, that's the peril of ignoring the SDGs in the past, but also in the future. And given that kind of momentum that's picked up quite a lot in the last 12 months, but has started since 2015, looking far ahead to the vision of 2045, what still needs to be done in order to get us where we want to be by then? So we've just gone through a period of trillions of dollars of stimulus spending, which will lead to public debt and deficits. There's about 88 trillion uh, in world GDP in uh, uh, 2019 before this started. And of that, the majority is in the private sector. So if even a portion of that or a bigger portion of that could be used for public good to fuel the SDGs, that's the best way to propel the rocket ship towards 2045. Have you seen businesses incorporating SDG three, good health and well-being? into their strategies so far? You know, to go from learning about a, a, a pandemic, a bug, to having a successful vaccine uh, in use or authorized, emergency authorization against that, uh, against that virus in one year is historically completely unprecedented. Completely unprecedented. This was one year. And that's because of novel platforms, technological platforms, et cetera. That's one industry segment, but it's a good example of the incredible effect of, uh, of uh, SDGs and of COVID on the private sector and on industry. Everyone has to be vaccinated for all to survive. Everyone has to be treated. All these holistic messages. Do you think that's something that can carry over into the, the full menu, the full smorgasbord, if you like, of SDGs rather than each particular one in, in isolation? There's three lessons that have really come out of this. Uh, equity, equity, and equity. You know, equity within countries, equity among countries, whether that be the pre-existing inequities that 2020 showed us with the public health measures uh, and how uh, low income and racialized communities suffered disproportionately, whether it be vaccine equity in 2021 or hopefully the equity related to a primary healthcare led recovery in 2022. Equity is the key and that is not unique to health. And I suppose, you know, given that the pandemic almost certainly has a zoonotic element into it somewhere, um, the message we're all in this together probably goes further than just humanity and nation states. It actually goes to the whole planet and all, all life on the planet. It really is about people and planet. It's about one health. Uh, I mean, if you look at uh, COVID even, I mean, this was, uh, you know, an event that has to do with humankind's relationship to, um, to the natural world. These are crossover events. These are spillover events. And they, I think, really teach us how interlinked climate, uh, inequality, human activity, marginalization and racism and health really are. And so indeed we're on one planet and this is really a story as the SDGs say of people and planet. When you mentioned, you know, look at your boardrooms, are there individuals in boardrooms who do understand these kind of concepts? The sort of language that we've been talking about now with equity, looking after the planet, crossover events, 
do you think we're getting to the point where this is common knowledge, a common understanding now? I would say this is something that has not yet been fully internalized by industry. And uh, I think something that is really worth uh, reflecting on given the experience of the last couple of years. So maybe that's a, a novel message, a new message uh, that I think people understand intuitively as a result of this terrible, harsh crisis and experience we've all gone through. Um, but let me make it explicit uh, in terms of governance. If you're a chair of a, uh, of a board of directors, please have a look around your board table and ask yourself whether you have a director or directors that really understands the SDGs, really understands pandemics, uh, because if not, you've got a risk, and it's a risk that you can and should mitigate by recruiting such directors. Splendid, Peter. Thanks very much indeed.